Okay, uh, solving percent problems using equations. So we have a problem that says 96% of what number is 24? 96% can be written as 0.96. Of in math means multiply. What number can be written as a, a letter? X, Y, Z, N. Is in math means equals. And 24 is just simply 24. So this is step one. Okay, <clears throat> now we got to solve for x. Since it's being multiplied by 90, 0.96, we have to divide by 0.96 to get rid of it on both sides of the equation to keep the equality equal. So we divide the left side by 0.96 and the right side by 0.96. So this is our step two. Any number over itself is equal to one. So here's my giant one. On the left, on the right, I have 24 divided by 0.96. So I draw a division house. Uh, my little crutch that uh, students seem to remember is you draw a cloud over the fraction. It rains on the upper number. It wants to go inside the division house to dry off. So the numerator goes inside, the denominator wants to go outside and play in the rain. Now, I've got to move this decimal over two places, one, two, and there's a decimal that's implied but not written, and it has to also move over two places, one, two, so that it ends up there. 96 does not go into 2, 96 does not go into 24, but 96 goes into 240 uh, two times. 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19. I subtract, I can't subtract 2 from 0, so I got to borrow from the 4, make that a 3. Put a 1 in front of that 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. I can't subtract 9 from 3, so I have to borrow from this 2. That becomes 1. This is 13. 13 minus 9 is 4. 1 minus 1 is 0. We're good. 48 is less than 96. I've gone in the correct number of times. I bring down the 0. 96 goes into 480 five times. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3. 5 times 9 is 45. Plus 3 is 48. I subtract. I have 0 left over. So that's step 2. Step 3. X is equal to 25. So... 96% of what number is 24? 96% of 25 is 24. That's it.